All right, everybody, so we're going to wrap this series up with Captain Ron Kelly, but today we are talking about Mega Live and the brand new Target Lock. So without further ado, take it away, Captain Ron. Well, obviously, forward facing sonar is the biggest deal in bass fishing, especially the tournament ranks. The guys went down to OHIV a couple years ago, set the whole world on fire. And then you see the Elite Series and Bass Pro Tour, and these guys are winning all over the world with forward face sonar. So, Hummingbirds come out with Mega Live. We're going to talk about it a little bit. You can see I've got it on the Solix 12 down here, and you can see the target lock system. So, the transducer for this Mega Live is actually going to be installed on the target lock, and we'll kind of get to that. So, on the forward facing sonar, you're going to notice this is going to be your bottom. You're looking out, you're going to have your distance here and your depth here. So as far as settings go, you just want to make sure that you don't have too much fuzz in here. You see all this, this is all bait glistening. You don't want to have too much fuzz. You want to have a lot of brightness in that bottom. From there, all it is is trying to decipher what images you're looking at. Anything attached to the bottom is not going to be a fish. Anything above the bottom is going to be a fish. Now, the trick to forward face sonar is deciding, do you want to fish for that fish? Is it a crappie? Is it a shad? Is it a bass? Is it a turtle? Um, and that's going to be up to you. You can see something here in the water column moving around. That's probably a fish. But we want to make sure we don't let our bottom get too high or too low. And I'm going to show you what I mean by that. So when I go into my settings and I scroll down to my down range, which is going to be this, I'm going to play with this. I'm going to show you what happens when you start to move that. If it gets too low, you don't have as good of an image. It gets too blurry. you got too much of screen. And if it gets too high... Kind of the same thing, you know, you're eliminating using half the screen. So I'm going to keep my bottom about two-thirds of the way down. On forward range, when I'm generally fishing in 10 foot or above, I'm looking 80 to 100. When I'm 10 foot or less, I'm looking anywhere from 40 to 60. I fish with forward-facing sonar a lot in super shallow water, and I'm able to see out 40 to 60 feet at stumps, docks, that sort of thing. So this is a tool you're going to use a lot. So we're going to move into the target lock just directly with it because the target lock's already on this system. It's on the graph, and we, you notice we've got the foot pedal here. So this is going to allow us to steer it, do the what's called the target lock method, which actually is going to lock onto an image that we're going to I'm going to show you in a minute, and it's going to it's going to give us another feature which is called the Minn Kota steer. So the 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 foot pedal's where we'll start. On the foot pedal, once you've got it paired with the unit, you've got your left. We're going to turn target lock left, we're going to turn target lock right. You'll notice it turning, and it's sweeping around looking on the screen there. Now, you've also got this button right here. This is your actual target lock button. So wherever that heading sensor is on the target lock is where we're going to lock on. So you notice this little clump of rocks right here. I'm going to, I've got my transducer face that way. I'm going to target lock now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up the talons. And we're going to allow the boat to drift, and you'll notice it's going to stay right on that image. So I've got the trolling motor kicking to the left. The rear of the boat's moving around. It's hard for you guys to see it on the camera. But notice we're staying right on this little rock pile right here. Target lock's locked onto the rock pile. It's not going to lock onto individual fish, anything that's moving. It's going to lock onto whatever structure that you're, you're facing it at. So next you have the one boat network button, which is really, really cool. I'm going to show you guys how to program it, and I'm going to show you the two options it gives you. All of our target lock and mega live imaging options are going to be under the chirp sonar. So now everything to do with target lock and mega live is going to be under the chirp sonar. Scroll to the bottom of that page and you're going to see the target lock one boat network button. We're going to program it there. When we touch that, it's going to give us the option to program it on our pedal and our remote. Right now we're doing the pedal. So it gives you a home position, a steer position, mark waypoint, disable ping, and a sweep. The two that I'm going to use the majority of the time are going to be the Minn Kota steer, which is going to allow me to steer the target lock transducer with the trolling motor. So wherever the trolling motor goes, the target lock goes. So it's going to do like this. The other one is sweep. And what sweep does is as I'm going straight, it allows the target lock to go back and forth with mega live. So I can go straight and sweep left to right. For now, we're going to put it on Minn Kota steer. Now, when I hit this one boat network button, you're going to notice that my Heading sensor right here on my target lock and my troll motor are going to line up with each other. So from here, everywhere the troll motor pedal goes, target lock goes. Man, Minn Kota's done a great job with target lock and the Mega Live. I'm excited about it. I've got one coming for my unit and I think you guys should check it out too. All right guys, so as you guys can tell, I love my Hummingbird and Minn Kota products, but listen, 
go out experiment find what works for you because there's a lot of tools to use in this industry right now when you're going out bass fishing and there's a lot of things that you can put on your boat that will make you more efficient on the water Kevin Ron we want to say thank you very much for coming out and doing this for you or for us on these videos giving us all the information that we can get how can people get a hold of you if they want an electronics trip or to get their stuff dialed in as well yeah well thanks for having me on my website is www.lakeforkguide.com you can find me on Instagram TikTok, and of course, Facebook, everything's Captain Ron, Big Bass, but it's Captain, C-A-P-N. C-A-P-N, Captain Ron. Anyways, man, we appreciate it very much. Guys, if you got what you needed out of this, let us know below. If you didn't and you want something else, let us know below. Please like, subscribe, and thank you for following along this series. We'll have more content coming at you soon. See you.